So I'm at Hills for the Sanctuary in Melbourne, Victoria. This sanctuary is famous for native Australian animals. And I'm going to show you five Australian animals that you probably haven't heard about, especially if you live outside Australia. So let's go. The beautiful dingo here. I'll zoom in. It's a wild Australian dog. It's found only in Australia. And it's the biggest land carnivore. It's got a ginger coat. And you can see them in, in white and black as well. Um, they are the biggest canines in Australia. Uh, they trace their ancestry from the Indian pariah dog or, or the Indian native dog. I think they're a little bigger than them. I'll zoom in. Just look at the furry coat. Uh, dingoes might look like a dog, but they act like a wolf. Uh, they can't bark. An average male size is probably about 15 to 17 kgs. There's one more coming behind. A female probably weighs about 12 kilos. So I, th I think that's that's a female, uh, the wider color one, and that's a male. They feed on kangaroos, uh, small mammals as well. Just a beautiful dog. Native to Australia. I'll zoom in for the last time. So we got the beautiful echidna here. There's a short big echidna, it's found in Australia. And there's a long big echidna as well, it's found in Papua New Guinea. Uh, I call them the Australian porcupine. Uh, they're one of the only uh, mammals in the world, along with the platypus, that they can lay an egg. I've seen plenty of them in the wild. Look at that. And uh, they're very timid animals. In case of any danger, they form a ball and try to hide away. Okay, look at that, it's going right there behind. I'll show you the enclosure. That's what it looks like. And they got a nice enclosure here. They got a nice uh, tube and the burrow. Plenty of space for them to hide, dig in. They usually prefer to stay uh, inside during summer. I mean, during winter, sorry. And if you find one outside in the wild, consider yourself very lucky because I've seen plenty of them. All right, guys. I'm gonna move on to the next animal. So I'm gonna show you guys one of the most rarest animal in the world. It's called the Goodfellas tree kangaroo. Look at that, they're sitting right there in a nice home. Uh, these kangaroos are not native to Australia. They're from Papua New Guinea. And Australia has got two more species of tree kangaroos. Uh, they live in Northern Queensland. This is an only non-native species living in the zoo. Um, as you can see by the name, tree kangaroo, they are arboreal and they prefer to live on trees. They are smaller than the normal kangaroos, probably weigh around seven kgs. Look at the massive tail, which helps them balancing. They got a nicely built enclosure, look at that. I'll zoom in on their face. You can see they look like a kangaroo. They have been seen to jump at heights of roughly 40 feet. That's a nice, nice setting, look at that. They usually feed on silk food trees. Um, they can also eat fruits, cereal, nuts, etc. In fact, it's eating something right now. They got a chestnut coat and they got two white stripes running at the back. All right, we're gonna move on to the next animal. So the next animal on the list is a Tasmanian devil. It's right here. Tasmanian devil is native to Australia, but now 
you can't find them on mainland Australia because they got extinct roughly 2000 years ago. You find them only in Tasmania, in the wild. And uh, these devils are roughly around 10,000 left. They're the biggest land carnivore marsupial in Australia because we don't have the Tasmanian tiger anymore. Look at that. Look at the way they walk. If you see one in the wild, consider yourself very lucky. Uh, these um, devils are, are prone to a, a tumor disease, a facial tumor disease. That's why their, their population has decreased in the wild. Oh, look at that. He opened his mouth. <laughs> One of the rarest animals in the world. They got a nice enclosure here at the hills for the century. Plenty of space to walk. Uh, they feed on uh, insects, snakes, rats, small mammals. They got a very strong bite as well, and they're, they're scared of humans. But if, if cornered, uh, they can attack you as well, so be mindful if you see them in the wild. Alright, from the devil, we're going to move on to the next native animal. There it goes away. So we got these massive red kangaroos. They're the biggest kangaroos in Australia. And they're found in Central Australia and Queensland as well. Just look at the size. All too mean. Just look, at, look at that one, just relaxing like watching TV on the couch. I hope you guys enjoyed this clip and enjoyed the five Australian animals I showed. Uh, this sanctuary is very really close to Melbourne CBD and it's a perfect place for family with kids to come in on a day trip. And the tickets are very reasonable as well. So it's a perfect place for kids. Um, please like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Take care, all the best from Ryan the Ranger. Goodbye.